To solve circuits with only independent sources using Thavenin's theorem, follow these steps. First, disconnect the load. Remove the load resistor. This isolates the portion of the circuit you're simplifying. Secondly, we can calculate Thevenin voltage. Use Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws to find the open circuit voltage across the terminals where the load was connected. This voltage is called the Thevenin voltage. Next, deactivate the sources. Short circuit any voltage sources. Replace them with a wire. Open circuit any current sources. Remove them, leaving a break in the circuit. After deactivating the sources, we can calculate the Thevenin resistance, calculate the total equivalent resistance across the open load terminals. Combine resistors in series or parallel as needed to get the total resistance. Since now we have both Thevenin's resistor and voltage, we can draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Finally, we have a simple circuit. We can easily calculate the voltage and current for any load resistance using Ohm's law. This is our first example. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the load in the given circuit. Calculate the load current and power for the following loads. The goal of problem is to find the power consumption of each light bulb when connected to the circuit. This circuit only contains independent sources, a single voltage source. Let's follow the mentioned steps. First step is disconnecting the load. Remove load resistance and keep the nodes A and B disconnected. Now we can analyze the circuit without the influence of the load. Now we can calculate the voltage across the nodes A and B. This is the Thevenin's voltage. Current will not flow in the 8 ohms resistor as it is open. So the voltage across the nodes A and B is equal to the voltage across the 4 ohms resistor. Now the circuit just contains one loop. We can solve this just using Ohm's law. If we have more than one loop, you may have to use Kirchhoff's laws as well. Current flowing through the loop is equal to the voltage divided by resistance. We get the current as 3 amperes. Now we can again use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage across the 4 ohms resistor, which is 12 volts. Therefore, 12 volts will appear across the AB terminals. This is the Thevenin voltage. Our next goal is to calculate the Thevenin's resistance. For that, we have to deactivate all sources. That means deactivate all independent voltage sources by shorting them. Deactivate all independent current sources by opening them. Here we only have a voltage source, so let's short it like this. After deactivating the sources, we can calculate the total equivalent resistance across the open load terminals. This is our Thevenin resistance. To calculate the resistance, we combine the resistors in series or parallel as needed to find the total resistance. In this case, the 4 ohm and 12 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. By solving for their equivalent resistance, we simplify the circuit. First, we calculate the total resistance of the parallel connected resistors. R1 is equal to 3 ohms. Next, R1 is in series with the 8 ohm resistor. Adding them gives us a total resistance of 11 ohms. This is the Thevenin resistance of our circuit. Now that we've found the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance, we can move on to the next step. Let's draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. To finalize the Thevenin's theorem process, let's calculate the current for a load with resistance R. Using the simplified Thevenin equivalent circuit, we can easily calculate the current through the load using Ohm's law. We have found the Thevenin equal circuit. It may seem like a lot of work initially, but once you're familiar with the process, you'll be able to reduce the number of steps and solve circuits quickly and efficiently. We've simplified the original circuit into a much simpler one, consisting of just a power source, a resistor, and the load. This Thevenin equivalent circuit can now be used for further analysis eliminating the need to work with the original complex circuit. Let's calculate the power for each load. For 5 ohm load, the load current is 0.75 amperes. The load power is 2.81 watts. For 7 ohm load, the load current is 0.67 amperes. The load power is 3.14 watts. For 9 ohm load, the load current is 0.6 amperes. The load power is 3.24 watts. 
After developing the Thevenin equivalent circuit, we can easily observe how the load current, voltage, and power change for any number of load resistors. Instead of recalculating the entire circuit each time, we only need to adjust the load resistor in the simplified circuit. Let's try another example. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the load in the given circuit. Calculate the load current and power for the following loads. This circuit only contains the independent sources, two voltage sources, so this should be solved under the case one. First step is disconnecting the load. Remove load resistance and keep the nodes A and B disconnect. Now we can analyze the circuit without the influence of the load. Now we can calculate the voltage across the nodes A and B. This is the Thevenin's voltage. This circuit contains only one loop, so you could use Ohm's law directly to find the current. However, for demonstration purposes, I'll use Kirchhoff's voltage law. Start by writing summing the voltages of the sources and the drops across the resistors. The current flowing through the loop is calculated as 0.33 amps. Then the voltage across the points A and B is equal to the voltage of the power source minus the voltage across the resistor. You can calculate from either side. I'll go from the 10 volt source side. We get the voltage as 13.33 volts. This is the Thevenin voltage. Our next goal is to calculate the Thevenin's resistance. For that, we have to deactivate all sources. That means open current sources and short voltage sources. Since we only have voltage sources, let's short circuit those. After deactivating the sources, we can calculate the total equivalent resistance across the open load terminals. This is our Thevenin resistance. Now we have to calculate the resistance across the points A and B. If you look carefully, you will see that the both resistors are connected parallelly across the point A and B. So we can calculate the total resistance, which is 6.67 ohms. This is our Thevenin resistance. Now that we've found the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance, we can move on to the next step. Let's draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. To finalize the Thevenin's theorem process, let's calculate the current for a load with resistance R. Using the simplified Thevenin equivalent circuit, we can easily calculate the current through the load using Ohm's law eliminating the need to work with the original complex circuit. Let's calculate the power for each load. For 30 ohm load, the load current is 0.36 amps. The load power is 3.88 watt. For 40 ohm load, the load current is 0.29 amps. The load power is 3.36 watt. For 20 ohm load, the load current is 0.5 amps. The load power is 5 watts. Let's try another example. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the load in the given circuit. Calculate the load current and power for the following loads. This circuit only contains the independent sources, a voltage source and a current source. So this should be solved under the case one. First step is disconnecting the load. Remove load resistance and keep the nodes A and B disconnect. Now we can analyze the circuit without the influence of the load. The second step is calculating the voltage across the nodes A and B, which is the Thevenin's voltage. Here, no current flows through the 1 ohm resistor, so the voltage across A and B is equal to the voltage across the current source and 12 ohm resistor. Now mark the currents in each branch. Since the current source supplied 2 amps, the I2 is equal to 2 amps. Let's apply Kirchhoff's laws to the circuit. First apply the KCL to node X, then we can apply the KVL to loop 1. If you are not good at Kirchhoff's Law, please watch our Kirchhoff's Law video. The I3 is equals to 2.5 amps. Using I3, we can calculate the voltage across the 12 ohms resistor, which is 30 volts. This is the Thevenin voltage. Third step is disconnecting the sources. Here we have to short-circuit the voltage source and open the current source like this. Now we can calculate the Thevenin's resistance. Let's calculate the resistance between A and B. We can see the 4 ohm and 12 ohms resistor are connected in parallel. So let's solve it first. 
Finally, we can solve the series connected resistor. The total resistance is 4 ohms. This is our Thevenin resistance. Now that we've found the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance, we can move on to the next step. Let's draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. To finalize the Thevenin's theorem process, let's calculate the current for a load with resistance R. Using the simplified Thevenin equivalent circuit, we can easily calculate the current through the load using Ohm's law, eliminating the need to work with the original complex circuit. Let's calculate the power for each load. For 6 ohms, the load current is 3 amps. The load power is 54 watts. For 16 ohms, the load current is 1.5 amps. The load power is 36 watts. For 36 ohms, the load current is 0.75 amps. The load power is 0.9 watt.